The award winners tonight represent a huge range of organisations across Thameside, from environmental groups who have renovated a local park to make life better for the community and for the neighbourhood, to a Dulham Housing who offer support to vulnerable people to help them in times of stress, Beanstalk who help thousands of children every year to learn to read, wide, wide range of organisations. Tonight we're going to hear some inspirational stories from volunteers and people who run volunteer organisations across Thameside. Tonight's all about volunteering. It's about those men and women and children who give their time uh, and their attention and their determination and their heart to support other people and to build their local communities. We're going to celebrate some really special individuals who have made a, an outstanding contribution with their volunteering and they're going to get awards tonight. This is my uh, my mate Eddie. This is my mate John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an explore leader at Mad Hatters, uh, based in Denton. Uh, I've known Eddie and John since well, 20, over 20 years, since I was a kid. Uh, they've been involved in scouting for over 20 years, 25 years now. To volunteer and to see the faces on some of the people that we work with, yeah. whether they're children, whether they're disabled, whatever they are. Um, we do a disabled swim on a, on a Saturday, and we've got children and adults and everything. And every time we come away, me and Eddie, we always almost cry and say that was a fantastic session. It means the world to show them the recognition they deserve. The, these two have been doing this for so long and they do, oh, okay, they get the thanks off the kids, but they don't get anything else, any sort of real recognition from the parents a lot of times. A lot of the time the parents should bring them along and to do it, but they don't get anything proper like this, which is what this is. I say I work for Manchester Be Proud Awards and I know that I, you get to see the look on people's faces when, they, when they, they get the award and see how much it means to people. Uh, and hopefully I'll get to see that tonight with these two. I mean, it's just unbelievable seeing young people grow up. Like this young person here, it, it, I, when I first met him, I was, it was, he was about 12. Now, now I've seen him grown up, now, now he's a young man, and he's hopefully going to be one thing. all the influence has been good. I mean, come on, everyone, everyone's got the good and the bad points. You can't sing all the goods. Uh, I, I volunteer at the Volunteer Bureau and also with um, a mother and tots group, and I get a lot of pleasure out of doing both of them. I was a young volunteer for about four years as a young carer. And ever since then, I just think we need to put that energy um, and the time back into young people. For us, it's about life skills. You know, we're teaching them to do football and they'll come back and hopefully give it back somehow in the future, either by being coaches like Elliot, who started at under sevens and went up to under 17s, and now he's the under seven manager now. Yeah, volunteering is absolutely fantastic because it gives me a chance to give something back to the community. I enjoy working with young people and helping in uh, just general community in any aspects like that. Tonight's been all about celebrating the difference that volunteers make. But it's also, as a volunteer yourself, you get so much out of it. So if you're interested in volunteering, um, then our details are on the screen now. Um, and give it a try. You've seen the difference it's made to these people's lives and it could do for yours as well. Mm -hmm. 